up for sale in that vehicle. Max, you have a beautiful 2008 Mercedes Benz C300 Sport. Bright red on the outside with black leather interior with a factory panoramic moonroof, AMG wheels, ground effects, heated seats, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. It has a clean title and a clean Carfax you can view right now for free at our website, vehiclemax.net. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is your zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always close on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an a rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. I'm going to finish going around the vehicle so you can see that the car has no dents, no hill damage, no love bug damage, no major scratches or touch-ups of any kind. It has a privacy tinted glass and then that beautiful panoramic ruin roof with the AMG wheels. I'm going to go ahead and get inside of it after that and then uh, get a start to show you all the interior options. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, just finish going around here to the front, and then we'll get in. The, we'll get inside the car. So let's go ahead and unlock it. Okay. The door panels are all uh, charcoal black, with this nice uh, dull aluminum finish in the chrome door handle. Got, of course, power windows, power door locks, power folding mirrors, cruise control, tilt wheel. Got a driver's side power seat and power recliner. Automatic headlights that come out of sunset and come off of sunrise. Of course, here's your cruise control. Let me go ahead and get inside of it now and get it started for you. It has 77,016 miles. Oops. We'll turn it on now. It's just it turns on when you open and close the door. Then after a little while it goes off. But once you turn on the car, it'll stay on the whole time. All right, let's start off with... Um, let me uh, put the lower... All right, get the AC going, and uh, let's, oh, by the way, this is your panoramic moonroof, let's slide the uh, shade back. You see the shade retracts into the center. Okay, and that's what your moonroof looks like. This portion here opens, that one in the back is just for you to look out of, but let's go ahead and open it up so we can get a little better lighting for the video. All right, and, um, all right, uh, let's, we get the AC going here now, like I was saying before. It's 77,016 uh, miles. The car is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer. Actually, I'm going to turn on the lights so you can see the uh, dashboard a little better. All right, uh, I'm going to rev the engine. Keep an eye on the tachometer on the right-hand side of your screen. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, no maintenance due, nothing like that. The only light that's on in the lower right hand corner there is a seatbelt light because I'm not wearing my seatbelt to shoot a video. Alright, I got the stereo on now. Let's raise the volume, which you can do right from the string wheel here. Raise the volume here. Low right here. Muted in the center. Okay. You got your Bluetooth controls over here. Voice command. And you get your computer. Um, this is to help you navigate your computer to, um, to put your pay, uh, your personal settings and all that stuff. Uh, let's see here. You got dual climate control. I got the driver's side now at maximum. And the passenger side, for example, you can put it, let's say, to 68 degrees. And what it does is that makes the AC vents here and over here blow at 68, while this one here and the one on the left hand side of the steering wheel here will blow at 60. But it's nice and hot today, so let's put them both to maximum. Okay, you got an automatic transmission that has a manual shifting mode. Reverse, neutral, drive, and that's how you get to drive it 99% of the time. But if you want to make it shift manually, as you'll notice here, let me see if you can see it here. See the D has a plus and minus? Well, if you tap it to the right, you can shift up. If you tap it to the left, you can shift down. But if that doesn't interest you, just leave it on D, and the automatic transmission will do all the shifting for you. All right, we got a little... So there's your cigarette lighter here and cigarette lighter, um, uh, your, your, your ashtray here, and you can see it looks like new, it looks like it's never even been used. By the way, the car does not smell of smoke and does not have cigarette burns. Cup holders here in the center, got storage here, uh, where's the button here, it's on the side here. 
Alright, got a nice little storage there. And your main glove box is over here. And then there's your owner's manual and all supplemental booklets that you need for the vehicle's operation. Put the car back in park. Got a leather wrapped steering wheel, and I'll pan around it nice and slow so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. None of the buttons are worn off. That does happen to Mercedes, you know, where you see this and they're all like white and stuff and look ugly. These are in great shape, especially uh, even the ones on the dashboard here. You got also Bluetooth controls over here, by the way. And you get your keypad here for your phone also. Um, heated seats. Oh, I forgot. I didn't finish going around the steering wheel. Let's do that. In the meantime, let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is your zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays, 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. I lower the window swing here, get a little bit of lighting. Um, I don't know if you notice that the, the switches are one touch. You don't have to hold the switch for the windows to go down or up for that matter. All right, uh, this can be closed also here, and you open it by pressing here. Okay, uh, let's see here. You got heated seats, and you have three different levels of comfort high, medium, low, and off. And uh, what else? You got a power rear shade in the back. Okay, and you press a button to open it and close it, and the button is located right here. Uh, what else? Let's pan over the passenger seating area. The interior is in remarkable shape. Not a single blemish, no cuts, no tears, no burn holes, no faded spots, no stitching coming apart. Just really nice condition. Up at the top here, you got map lights. Uh, what else here? Uh, you got uh, vanity mirrors with lighting. When you open the little lid, it lights up over here, and you got a little spot here for like business cards. All right, um, I think we can go ahead and move on to the back, so let's do that. Turn off the car. Let me turn off the lights because if not, it's going to start beeping and letting me know that we left it on. You got also a power trunk release here on the um, on the door here. If you want to look in the trunk, all you got to do is that. Let's go ahead and press it. All right, it just popped. And uh, before we get back there, I'm going to go ahead and show you the uh, passenger section of the vehicle. This is a five passenger, uh, two in the front and three in the back and they all have an over the shoulder belt including the middle row passenger which uses this belt here. You get to also get anchors for your baby car seat that indicates in here you get those metal clips so you can tie down your baby seat. If you don't have a middle row passenger you can flip this down and use it as armrest and uh, also as a uh, storage and I believe this pops open into a cup holder and it retracts nicely with it back and you never see it again. Alright you get AC vents for the rear row passengers also here. Let me give you a look at the panoramic moonroof so you can see how it encompasses the whole portion of the, the car there. The rear door panels are all charcoal black also with a nice dull aluminum here and a chrome handle. Um, let's move over, let's go ahead and close here and let's move over to the, uh, by the way when you pop the trunk, it's not a power trunk but when you pop it, it, the springs make it lift uh, up so you don't have to uh, even lift it up. You got a huge trunk for a little car. And you also got a first aid kit here on the side. And uh, to close the trunk, just simply pull down on it. Okay, get the nice uh, rear spoiler. Uh, privacy uh, tin glass and also the uh, rear window defroster. The tires are not new, but they're in great shape. They definitely don't need to be replaced. Right rear door panel, same way. All right. Let's take a look at the interior from a different angle. Of course, you get anchors for your baby car seat on this side as well. All right, let's move on to the passenger front. Right front door panel, perfect shape. Uh, not only do you have a power seat and power recliner on the driver's side, but as you can see also on the passenger side. All right, before we conclude the video, I want to talk to you about financing for just a second. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even got some programs for really rough credits. If you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply want us to get you a pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right on the home page, you see a silver tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, 
click submit at the bottom of the page and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.